What's up my funnel hackers? How's it going? It's Ted Carr here. Today we're going to be talking about why people don't make content and why maybe if you're in a content rut right now, maybe these are the reasons why you're not making content and this is actually how to get out of it as well, right? So we're going to talk about why people don't make content, maybe why you're not making it and how to actually get out of that rut so you can start creating content, so you can start making money online, selling your courses, selling your eBooks, selling your coaching programs, selling your merch, selling tickets to your festival, to your retreat, whatever it may be. It all comes down to being able to create content. If you're not creating content, no one's gonna know who you are. No one's gonna be able to like you. No one's gonna be able to trust you because you're not putting out helpful content. So how to get out of the rut, this is what it comes down to, all right? There's an acronym called FEARS. I just made it up the other day with my friend Alyssa. I think she's in the background right there. That's actually her right there. Yeah, her and I brainstormed this one together. Like, why aren't people coming up with it? It all comes down to fear. And specifically, if we break that word down into different parts, we can discover that the word fear is actually made up of things like the fear of failure. It's the F. Fear of failure. Fear of failure. More specifically, people aren't going to watch my videos. I'm going to get one view. It's not going to, it's not going to do a damn thing. It's going to be a failure. It's going to be a flop. It's going to be really embarrassing putting up this awesome title and thumbnail. No one watches the damn thing. Or nobody comments. It's super embarrassing. Um, it's, just a, it's just a failure. It's a horrible video, right? Fearing the failure of putting up the video. That's what prevents me from making videos. That's why I know it's prevented Lissa from making videos. I know that's what's prevented. Maybe you watching this right now thinking, oh, I'm afraid my channel's not going to do anything. I'll just sit back and watch. It's the fear that we're not good enough, the fear that we're going to fail, so why bother? We just sit in the sidelines and, you know, you can't fail if you don't try, right? So a lot of people just don't try. That's the first part of, of the reason why people don't put out content. It's the F in fear. It's the fear of failure. Now the A, or sorry, yeah, the A is if, no, the E, the F-E-A-R-S, the next part is the E. And this is the, uh, the fear of being too exposed, having your life on camera, having your life on the internet. Because... You know, you're you're exposing yourself. You're like, this is where I live. This is what I wear. This is what my face looks like today. This is what my hair looks like today. This is what I sound like today. This is where my level of knowledge is at today. That prevented me from from making videos because I was like, this is, I know I've changed so much. I've grown so much. And what if I make a video today and five years from now I don't believe the same thing? It happens. It happens. Guess what? You make content today with what you're super passionate about. Years go by. You can make content again about what you've changed, what you now no longer believe. In the past, somebody made a video about like their favorite ways of cooking steak. And then five years later, they're like, oh, I actually don't do steak anymore. I'm vegan, so uh, steak's horrible. But here's a uh, here's a vegan burger. Here's how to make my Beyond Meat burger. Here's how to make a, a fake meat burger. Whatever it is. Uh, so if that happens, that's totally fine, but just expose yourself, be transparent. People love that. It's very, very helpful for people. It allows you to get your message out there to more people that way anyway. So uh, it's actually a good thing for you to expose yourself. You don't need to give your exact address or even your exact country if you don't want, but expose yourself and just put yourself out there and, and let people know that here you are, this is what you look like, this is what you're wearing, this is what you sound like, and this is what you believe in. I know that was a big one for me, a big stumbling block for me. Uh, so the, the next part of this whole fears acronym is the A. And this is the fear of assholes. So once you expose yourself, then the assholes come trolling. And I know um, I've had plenty of hate videos made about me. I've had plenty of, I've seen plenty of hate videos made about Lissa and plenty of hate videos made about other vegans and raw foodists in, in the community. And uh, it happens. Assholes come. But um, it's not your job to, to understand why these assholes are making videos about you. It's just what they do. It's just content that they've created about you. And as some people say, any exposure is good exposure. Any publicity is good, good publicity. Heck, if you're making videos that get people angry, then you're probably also making videos that get people upset. I mean, that are getting people uh, happy. And there's a quote by Dan Kennedy. He says, if you haven't pissed off somebody by noon, you're not marketing hard enough. So assholes are part of it. It's kind of like playing a video game. And then a boss comes up where you have to beat the enemy. Imagine if there was no enemies and no bosses in life that you have to beat. It's just one long, straight, easy road to the finish line. It'd be so boring. Overcoming these, these obstacles, overcoming these haters is, is part of the game. So just know that if a hater comes up, that's just like a boss coming up in a video game. That's just like an enemy coming from a video game. All you have to do is click block and delete. That's it. No, no need to respond with a comment. No need to respond with, with anything. No need to make a video about that hater. Just simply block, delete. Done. So that's the, the, the asshole aspect of this whole fear acronym. The R stands for being too repetitive. I'm afraid of being too repetitive. I fear saying what someone else has already said. That's a completely understandable fear. If you feel that way right now, I totally get it. I was in that, I was in that same boat. Um, I was like, oh, what could I say that hasn't been said already? Like, especially when I was teaching raw foods. I was like, all they have to do is peel a banana. How am I supposed to say that? 20 different times. Well, it turns out I could say it a million times and people still love hearing that here's how to peel a banana. You go like that, you go like that, you go like that. Once it's peeled, you just eat it. And that's my breakfast. 
Like how many times can I show people what I eat for breakfast? They love it anyway. Lisa I know is showing the same recipe on her. I keep going like this because she's somewhere in the kitchen there. She's shown her same recipe like a hundred times on Instagram. People still love it. They want more. Uh, and it's actually a good thing to be repetitive because people love familiarity. I know when I hear the same message over and over again, it's very reassuring. And so um, if someone else has said it and then I say it in a different way, it can resonate differently with that person. And if I say the same thing a bunch of times, then my followers, my subscribers, my, my fans, my students, um, they're, they're going to they're gonna really be happy with that because they're going to be like, finally, this is like, not finally, but <laughs> they've heard a bunch of times, but they're going to be like, yes, dang, okay, thank you for keeping me on track. So don't worry about being repetitive. It's actually a good thing to be repetitive and keep driving home those core fundamentals. Now, the S in fears stands for um, very appropriate that I just forgot the S in fears because the S stands for the fear of looking stupid. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes you make five bullet points and you forget one of the bullet points and you gotta stop the video and start again. So that's totally fine. But it's the fear of being stupid. It's the fear that you're not good enough. It's the fear that you're not qualified enough. You're not certified. You haven't helped enough people. How dare you go up there and make videos when there's other people out there way more qualified than you. This is a big one. I remember thinking it myself as well. So if you feel the same way, I totally get it. Uh, what I found though is once I started making content about whatever I want to make content about, I organically just had my own spin on it. You know, nobody can say the same sentences that I've said because if someone even tries to repeat me, they're gonna come up with their own words and, and their own style of saying things. So um, even, even if you take this video right now and you talk about the fears of making YouTube videos, you're gonna say different things than I've said, even if you go through the same uh, the same letters. If you go through the F for fear of failure, you go through the E for uh, the fear of being too exposed, the A for the fear of assholes, the R for the fear of being too repetitive, and then the, the S for being stupid, uh, fearing being stupid, you're still going to sound differently than me. You're still going to give some good value to other people. So I recommend finding videos that you've liked and just making similar videos, um, doing your best to doing your best to just model the video that you enjoyed and just make it yourself how you like because you're going to come up with your own spin on it. There's no two snowflakes and tons of snow, tons of snow is always falling on this earth at one point or another. No two snowflakes are alike. Every snowflake is different. You look at every human's eye. Every human has a, has a different eye print. Every um, fingerprint is different. So we're all unique in our ways, in our way of expressing things. So don't worry about being, um, don't worry about being stupid. Just put your own spin on it and uh and you'll be all good so that's it for now hope you got this i hope you got a lot out of this video and if you would like some more information on how to make money online with ebooks with courses and with coaching get my free ebook excuse me get my free ebook via link in the description and uh let me know what you think hope you got something from this that's it for now see you at the canada vegan fest this summer peace out ciao